Is Teresa Hotel haunted? Yes, I believe that the Crescent Hotel is haunted, very much haunted. It has had the reputation of being a haunted hotel for pretty much as long as it's been here. Pal Clayton built the Crescent Hotel in 1886. And in 1908, they invited the Crescent College and Conservatory for young ladies. The school went on here until 1934. The hotel was closed during the Depression and Baker came up and bought it in 1938. When Norman Baker bought the hotel, he claimed he could cure any kind of cancer in six weeks' time. He was boasting a 100% success rate. The medical field, they just despised him. He was using human beings as guinea pigs. He lacked compassion entirely. I don't think he had a good intention in his body. I mean, he let people lay and die and took their organs and put them in jars and buried them out back. So yeah, I think he's a murderer. The Seth tales of ghosts and hauntings at the famous Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs aren't disturbing enough. Well, they have dug up bottles filled with human body parts. The very first people we called was the police department. We didn't know if it would be a crime scene. And we were really starting to get just layer upon layer of bottles. It was obvious what it was. Haunted is one of those things where a place's history can sort of permeate. We definitely had things that were tragic that happened here. That can hang around. So it's not surprising that some of these negative energies are still around here. Like when you walk through the door, you know something's here. You know, it's noted as the most haunted hotel in America, and it's impossible to gauge how many stories are encapsulated in this one building. I opened my eyes and I had tears running down my cheeks. I mean, I was just shaking. I felt the overwhelming need to leave that room. I don't live in Eureka Springs anymore. I don't work at this hotel anymore. And it's still happening to me. I think Norman Baker's haunting me.